How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This video is a tool review. Um, not getting paid to do this. Uh, I do get to keep the tool, but I'm not getting any money on it. But this is actually a good product. Uh, it, it works really well. This is a Teslong Borescope. So let's take a look at it. This is a Teslong uh, Borescope. Came in this really nice case. Yes, this is a product uh, made in China. Uh, I don't really do very many products, reviews, uh, and I don't really do very many from China. But uh, I could use a, one of these in the shop, and they offered it to me, and so I'm going to do it. But, you know, I was very pleasantly surprised with this product. This uh, scope is actually pretty darn good. I have used quite a few of these things in the past, and starting way back with the Olympus Octo uh, optical bore scopes in my work and this one I can actually say is good. Let's take a look. Comes in this nice uh, padded case, a uh, little brochure or catalog right there and uh, their instruction manual. Now this is an NTS 500 November Tango Sierra 500 industrial endoscope. Anyway you know four languages and all that. But I'll, I'm going to talk about everything pretty much that's in here. Uh, I, I don't see why I can't. This is it. It's in a very nice case. Uh, it has a very tough case. It has a little lanyard ring on it. I've been playing with this for about a week and a half. And I am, like I said, I'm really very impressed. You connect your camera. This is a camera. This camera lead is, is a dual lens 5.5 millimeter camera. Uh, the, so the the end of it the end of it here is 5.5 millimeters in diameter. This so for comparison, this will not fit down a 22 caliber rifle or pistol, uh, but it just barely doesn't fit. They do make a camera that does fit down uh, the smaller a uh, smaller bore of a gun, like a 22. This one is um, 3.9 millimeters. My neighbor has one of these, and his, he has a different unit. His is Wi-Fi. It has about a three-foot lead, and it's Wi-Fi to his phone, and then he runs a, an app, which is really slick, really slick. So anyway, this is the last one, and it's is, uh, 10 feet long, I think it was. Uh, yeah, about 10 feet long. And it's, you know, it's fairly stiff, very flex. I mean, it's flexible enough so that you can steer it and control it. It, it connects on here, pretty simple, just plug, it plugs in and screws on, multi-pin plug. Now this one I said was a dual camera, this is, this is really sweet. This has a camera and a light on the end, but on the side it also has camera and a light, which is very cool. If you're sticking it down a hole and you need to look at something on the wall, or to the side, if it's the, this camera's in the wrong position, you just push a button. On the end here of the of the lead, there's a button, and it will switch cameras. Very cool. Not a lot of units have that kind of feature. Working in a dark space on the back here, there's a light. Push it on, so that gives you uh, some illumination where you're working. Little LED lights. On the front is a power switch. Push and hold starts up. Now the screen resolution is 1280 by 720. It, it starts up, it's in a camera mode right there, and, well, there we go. Um, this is going to be hard to look, but I have, uh, I, I have some clips I'm going to show you using it. So there's the camera. So it has, a, I'll just talk about the features real quick. Uh, the lights on the end of the camera, the light there, it has a three different settings and off. Yeah, three different dim settings and then off. So there's a, a few modes for this. I could I can just click and take a picture anytime I want. It has a micro SD chip in here, right next to where the charging port is, a USB charging. There's a micro SD chip. And I can just push it, tap tap one control and take the picture and saves it to the chip. I can also shoot a movie change modes, 
really just one button. Now I can just hit this and I can, I can uh, shoot a movie recording now. It also records sound. So you can talk and, and talk about what you're looking at and things like that. And that's, say, and then hit it again, stops the movie and records it. Uh, there's not too many settings as far as the settings go, but you have your, there's, you just hit your settings buttons and you can change your resolutions. It's 1280 by 720, and that's the only choice you have. You have uh, date and time, of course. It will put a date and time stamp on your recordings. And then some recording stuff on or off. Micro, that's a microphone on or off. Then uh, switch over here. You have auto. You can uh, have auto power off. Set settings there. Language, date and time. Set the date and time. Format the card. Uh, switch to default settings and some version information for you. Pretty simple to operate as far as uh, going over things. You can also review your movies. Here, hit the mode button again, and I could. There you go. See, I'm recording, uh, played back that little movie we just shot. And then you can go back to camera mode. Like I said, the, the resolution is really good. It's very clear. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. I haven't even pulled off the uh, little plastic cover yet. We'll do that right now. And there we go. Little plastic cover. Oh, and now it's even better. <laughs> so, I, uh, these are on Amazon. I will provide a link to them. Now, I might get a little stipend uh, if you buy one of these. Well, even just, if you just click and look at it, I, I'll probably get a little stipend out of it. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's it. The Teslong TS, NTS 500. It's lightweight. Very portable. I've only charged it once and I haven't even used uh, a third of the battery, or about a third of the battery. It has a little battery indicator, has a chip indicator, shows you the date and time down here, and it also shows you when you're recording and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you some clips of what we're looking at and we'll see how that looks.
All right, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the little video clips of looking down the, the rifle barrel and the air conditioning and my vacuum system. And uh, you can see that there is many uses for this. If you wanna look behind a cabinet, looking for something you dropped under a cabinet, you look for that you, something dropped or fell down an air conditioning duct. Uh, for the price, you, I tell you, you can't beat this. Really, it's uh, very, very handy. I like that, I'm very, very impressed with it, how easy it is to use, and the quality of the video is just fantastic. Just fantastic. Uh, so, you know, if you're interested, please check it out. Check it out. I mean, uh, definitely something for this good for the shop. All right, thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please check out the Teslong NTS 500 and check the link in the description. Thank you.